Linus, thank you so much for uh, talking to us. Let me begin by asking you, what is your message to the Coptic community on this Christmas, your first Christmas after being ordained as Pope? Uh, firstly, you are welcomed and uh, Happy New Year and uh, Merry Christmas. The most important message is one of happiness. The world today needs to get happy, especially here in Egypt. What is your message to the Egyptian people as a whole? <laughs> the same message, but I would like to add that we need stability in Egypt, especially after two years have passed since the revolution. We need a new beginning. We need to stop street protests and start a journey of work and construction. I invite all Egyptians to work and to build a new Egyptian community. The church was clearly unhappy with the process of drafting the constitution. Your delegation withdrew from the constituent assembly. What was your reaction when the constitution was passed recently in the referendum? We took part in the deliberations over the draft of the constitution, but at a certain time we pulled out because we were uncomfortable with certain articles. The constitution was going against the concept of equality, and of course the constitution is the basis of legislation. We will follow the practical implementation of these articles and will see if it will convey a spirit of extremism or not. Then and there we will react accordingly. So do your calculations or your approach as a Pope, as the head of the Coptic Church, do you feel that they're going to be different given the political environment now? In the past decades, Copts have been marginalized, but after the January 25 revolution, Copts, like the rest of Egyptians, have started to express their opinion freely. Note when previously when Copts had problems they would protest inside the cathedral, but after the revolution they now go to Tahrir or outside the state TV building. This is one of the revolution's positive goals. From my end I will try alongside all the bishops and priests to focus on the spiritual role of the church, followed by its social role. Therefore the political role will have no room left, except if you consider defending equality part of politics. I do not consider it so. Is it your tendency now to try to pull the church a little bit out of politics? Indeed. The church needs to remain out of politics. The church is a spiritual establishment. That's its primary role. It's also a social role to offer services, help with the construction of hospitals, schools and so on.